Hi! So tonight's my last night in Butler, Pennsylvania. I've been here for several days. I've lost track of how many. Staying up pretty late every night, uh, on average between 1 in the morning to 4 in the morning. Getting up always around 7 in the morning, if not a little bit earlier. <sighs> yeah, so I'm a little bit worn out. I've been pushing myself a little bit too hard this week, and that's why I'm speaking softly, because I'm losing my voice, and I don't have much energy left. Next week, I'll be editing two carving videos that I made while in Butler, Pennsylvania. I participated in the Butler Chainsaw Carving Invitational. I carved a Where the Wild Things Are headboard and footboard, which actually the family that bought it was probably going to be turning it into two headboards since they have two daughters. It worked out pretty well that way. And now I don't have to fight over it, which is good. And Furiosa from Mad Max Fury Road, which I made today. Between filming those two videos, I had a day where I just got to freestyle with my friends. Um, I started making a wizard. I'm going to finish it when I get back to Texas, but I got pretty far with it. Pennsylvania is beautiful. And I really like coming to visit. There's so many trees and hills and uh, beautiful old buildings. A lot of brick. I've had a great time visiting with my carving friends. I only see them about once a year, which isn't enough. I live pretty far away from everyone, so hopefully they'll come visit me soon. Putting that out there. Carving friends come to Austin. For the most part, when I'm carving, I'm usually by myself. So trips like this are great to be able to connect and bond with fellow carvers and learn from each other and also just have the companionship. It's a little bit lonely sometimes being a solo artist. So um, yeah, this, these kinds of events really fill me up again and get me inspired. And I find that I work a lot harder as soon as I come back from them. The carving part is fun, but uh, the after parties are great too. When the carvers finally stop their chainsaws, usually around dark, we start a campfire and sit around and talk, and it's a good time. Last year when I got back from Butler, I used some of the white pine that I brought back with me and carved a campfire. I'd like to do the same thing this year. After I get back from Butler, when I get home to Texas, I'm going to carve another campfire for this year's RTX booth, and maybe that'll be my new tradition. Maybe this time I won't sell it. Maybe I'll just hold on to it. It'd be nice to have a little stationary campfire. Because in Texas it's so hot you can't always have a fire. During the action on Sunday, I ended up making an impulse purchase. I bought my friend Scott Dow's giant cobra. It's about six and a half feet tall. And uh, I didn't talk to my husband about it. He hates snakes. He has a huge phobia. And now we have a huge snake. And I'm hoping to put it in our front yard, but I'm going to wait for it to dry out and to furnish it and everything first. And I'll see if he'll let me. If not, I guess it will live at the fort. It'll be nice to have a little extra inspiration around. I'll probably stop in Nashville on the way back, then I'll stop in Mobile, Alabama for a pizza dinner with my in-laws, and then I'll get back to Austin a day earlier than expected, hopefully. It'll be good because I'm really starting to miss my family, and I'm really starting to miss my bed and my dog and cat, and I miss my studio because I have things and places instead of a pile in my van, which is getting a little bit challenging to work out of. That's about it. Thank you for tuning in.